My name is John Wright. Uh, I'm a 20th century heritage consultant with the architectural practice Purcell. And for this year's uh, London Festival of Architecture theme of care, I've chosen a building in the square mile. Um, it is the uh, St Paul's Cathedral Choir School by the Architects Co Partnership. It was designed uh, 1962 to 7. It's a modern building that sits in a very sensitive historic location um, and it's grade two star listed, which is an indication of its international importance. This, in the summer of 1939, the Architects Co-Partnership were founded um, and they were set up to be a new sort of practice, um, one in which hierarchy would be abolished and all members would be equal. And they were committed in equal measure to a sort of social program and an aesthetic renewal of, of modernism in this country. They constructed experimental screens and some pavilions at the Festival of Britain and one of their partners, Michael Powers, um, was the first to design a modern building in an Oxford college, um, St John's uh, student residences, um, known now as the Beehives, were really the first piece of modern architecture in Oxford or Cambridge and ushered in a sort of um, a new wave of modernism in both those places. The partner in charge of the choir school um, at St Paul's Cathedral was um, Leo de Silas and the site was perhaps one of the most auspicious bond sites in post-war London. The brief obviously requiring the utmost sensitivity um, being in the, um, the shadow of this major landmark. But also it had a Wren Tower there which is listed at Grade 1 and, and a nearby Hawksmoor Church. The resultant building by the Architects Co-Partnership was a work of real elegance that had deference to the Baroque masterpieces around it, um, but also in the way it used its materials, proportion and massing to make its own modern mark. The choice of Roach Portland stone, that is stone with a very high proportion of fossils in it, um, and a lead covered attic story reflected the materiality of the 17th century architecture around it. And in the vertically orientated recessed windows, um, there was a reference to the pilasters of the cathedral behind. And the skillful use of the site that ACP um, managed was kept the clear views of Wren's East End um, and that remained visible and framed in the blocks that they placed um, that formed the school. So it also had um, to deal with um, you know the setting of other listed buildings it had to deal with the east end of um, Wren's building um, and for all these reasons the way it cared sensitively for um, this incredibly um, historic and important London site and how sort of subtle um, and quiet it is as a piece of modern architecture in the city is how I think it cared for its environment um, and was one of the first modern buildings that we can consider to be contextual in that sense.